ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at the forms of divergence. We're going to take a look at one form of divergence that I believe is the strongest. Here we can see that SLX had a move to fresh highs here. But take a look at what the RSI was doing. We can see that while the stock was making a fresh move to fresh daily closing highs, the RSI failed to move above 61.8. In my opinion, this is the worst type of negative divergence. So if somebody is looking for an area to go short, an instrument that is trading at new highs, if you ever see this type of negative divergence, prices making new highs, RSI failing to move above 61.8, that tends to suggest that there is a swing trade you can take advantage of to the downside. Now keep in mind in this particular example, we can see that SL, SLX actually stalled here twice. So this is clearly a double top and the double top so happens to be around the 61.8 level. And again, this is the worst type of negative divergence. And of course, if you had seen that, then clearly what happened after this negative divergence makes sense because we've seen the ETF pull back for a great short-term swing trade. It would be similar to this period here where we have a move to new highs. Take a look again at your technicals. So there's a line here where we struggle to hold above 61.8 again. So that's negative divergence. And of course, after that resistance or that negative divergence, you can see that the market responds with a nice swing trade to the downside. Now the opposite of 61.8 of course is 38.2. So all these are interchangeable. Which means that the best type of positive divergence is where we have prices making a fresh low for example here but we observe that that is also happening while the RSI is improving in other words here the RSI found support around the 38.2 level so this is the worst no, excuse me this is the best type of positive divergence and you can see after that the market responded with a great swing trade to the upside. So pretty much we are saying the same things because both of them are relevant but again the numbers are consistent. The best type of positive divergence is when the RSI holds above 38.2 as prices make fresh lows. The best type or the strongest type of negative divergence is when you make new highs but the RSI struggles to hold above 61.8. Eric Mothert, Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.